Hi, I'm Claudio Orlandi and I'm a protocol designer at Partija and an associate professor in cryptography at Aarhus University. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit about zero-knowledge proofs and secure multi-party computation. So let me start with what is a proof. When you study math in high school, you had a teacher and the student, and the teacher wanted to persuade you of uh, some mathematical property, for instance, of some triangles. So the teacher would give the student a proof that the student could read and verify. What is a proof? A proof is a series of steps which are written in a language that the student can uh, process and verify, such that you can check that every step logically follows from the previous one, you can get persuaded that the statement is true. A cryptographic or zero-knowledge proof is a little bit like the same thing, except that the proof has been encrypted using some special encryption scheme, which still allows you to check that every step follows from the previous one, but without being able to see what the steps are. So it sounds a bit strange, but at the end of the day, you can get persuaded that this statement is true, but have no idea about why this proof holds. Zero-knowledge proofs are used everywhere in blockchain technology for scalability with roll-ups or for anonymity with uh, private payments. At Partija, we use zero-knowledge proofs, but we also use a technique which is more powerful, which is known as secure multi-party computation. I'll try to explain the difference with a simple example. Suppose that you have a researcher who is looking for subjects for some study, and the researcher is looking for people of a certain gender, in a certain age range, and living in a certain country. And then you have a user who has some attributes, a gender, a age, and a country of residence. Using zero-knowledge proofs, it is possible for the user to encrypt their attributes and give a proof to the researcher that their attributes match this policy. In such a way that the researcher will learn that the user is eligible to participate in the study, but will have no idea about what the exact attributes are, except for the fact that they satisfy the policy. But what about application in which more than one user has data that they want to protect? Using secure multi-party computation, we can also let the researcher encrypt their policy and then have a truly private matching where the user learns that they can participate in the study but they have no idea about the policy. And the researcher will learn that the user was eligible to participate but without learning anything about the individual attributes except for the fact that they satisfy the policy. And maybe the researcher wanted to hide this policy because uh, revealing the policy might have some impact on the objectivity of the study. So this is just a simple example of what secure multi-party computation can do for you, but more in general you can have secure auctions or benchmarking or gambling or in general anything in which more than one party wants to keep the data private while combining it with the data of other participants. Thank you.